Oh, there's no one there for a chunk of Mount Lofty, a couple of blokes uh, to deal with and they've got their hands on it and now they look like they're going to bounce back through Alex Weeks yeah. out to the wing. Fed the ball by Stapleton, so the ball out here, here's a foot race. O'Brien has been impressive ball with us, so it's a bit of candy, tries to get around. Just trying to get to the target. Great play, I've been your hundred. Guys, handball on a handball, turned it over badly then Mount Lofty. That's oh, some good play, I've got to take on the ball by Stapleton. Boom, crash it, works his way through. Coming in as O'Brien, but... Taken too high there as he fended him off the old don't argue and the free kick will go to Charlie Hender. So the game heating up here as we've uh, come to the five minute mark of the last quarter. Mark taken there by Redden. Attempts to play on, runs himself into trouble finally. Pulls for a high kick around the body. Kept on the ball is Kazanowskis. Ball comes to ground. Ace is in there. Closely guarded by Hunter Bennett. Works it towards the boundary line on Bay 13 area. Back to Hilbert's pipe. Stapleton grabs the ball. Plays a bit of keys the office and surveys. And in the oh end, my the ball goodness. is smothered by Magnificent, so magnificent work by jo Joel Ace there, right there. There were three blokes. Here. There were two Mount Lofty guys who could have. Throwing out the arms, it's not hard to throw a shepherd, and he's got around him and uh, forced the throw in. So, Jeffrey, take us from here. So, Thorne, Kittle, Neil, struggling for the front position. Ball comes in, the quick guy, quick hands to Jesse, Jesse Edwards. Edwards. I tell you what, towards the top of the square, Jace yeah, get his hands up, oh, no, taken by the Port Lincoln recruit, and Luke Andrews. He can run the length here, Luke Pistols. Andrews, uh, spotting a bit of uh, Three. Fabio look there too, as he drives the ball along the wing, drives it towards the Coventry wing here, oh, but he kicks turns a bit it over. Poor, and he turns it over. Redden. And Redden Mark taken there by Jed Redden for a chunk, he's got a lean loose out in the Coventry mm -hmm. wing area. That uh, deserves to go back up the ground, which he does, but can't under it's Brad Birch, experienced man against Jennings, comes there, taken by Andrews, high yep. waffle man, gets out wide to another long-haired man in... Uh, Wesley Weeks drives it back towards oh, the junior oh, oh, fleet. Oh, 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 a big oh. fly there from Brody Fleet. Jesus, his big brother wouldn't be able to get that high no, off the ground, mate. Great, I wouldn't mate. have thought. Hello to Lachlan over there in America. Your little brother's showing you up as he puts the ball, <laughs> but uh, catching a kick there as he's kicked by uh, Matt Stapleton. So uh, great mark, poor kick there from Brody Fleet. Driven back by Matt Stapleton. Kept on it. He is Redden again. Redden once again. Where's he? Oregon? He might look to switch here. Liston's on on the far side. Obviously, uh, sweeping pains, a sweeping role in defence this uh, quarter, boys, because that's his uh, second or third defensive mark. Drives it back along the Coventry wing. Oh, oh. big fly at the top was uh, stable in this case. Good to get taken by Guy. Young, across to Maxi Harris. Back to Guy. Back Thor. to uh, Thorne. They're sharing the ball around here to Demons. Oh, a bit of a mung kick. Uh, pounced on by Miles. Gets it back here to Birch. Birch feeds it back to Miles. Miles grounds a bit of traffic. Puts it forward. Kept under the ball is Gordon. Behind. Well done, done by the Italian Reuter. defense. Racing through there, keeping the ball head. Oh, I picked up there by uh, That's a the good tackle. France man in Moss. Dylan Moss in the helmet. He now goes to the ground and there'll be a ball up some 40 metres out from uh, Mount Lofty. Goal kicking towards the scoreboard end in this quarter. We've played seven minutes. I think uh, the Uchunga blokes wanted to make a case for holding the ball there, but the umpires give the benefit of the doubt. And the throw up happens. We've just carry. Oh, a bit of a falcon as it come off the head there of our teammate Redden. Ball comes back into a pack situation and they'll be I've a just up. had a little special comments from your left hand man, mate. Yeah. Benny Goldfinch. He reckons next goal wins. Next goal wins. Well, Goldie, I'll tell you what. It... Next goal, we'll lofty actually have to kick about four to get in front, Goldie, so I don't subscribe <laughs> to that theory. As it's 10, 11 to 8, four. Ball comes back to grab. Here's Ryan Brett. Grabs the ball. He's taken a great tackle there by Michael Telford. Oh, it's paid too. And the uh, former Mount Gambia Jr. Uh, oh. Good work by the young man to run down the uh, pass reserves with Gary Medler. So I've Nicky... liked Telford's game, mate. He's been pretty good, the youngster. And he shares the ball out here to Sammy Miles, who's been allowed to drift into space. So the little master, in fact, if you wanted anyone he, to have the he's ball. He's a big chance from here. This could be a chance it's for the a big chance. Could, could be Miles. another captain's goal coming up. So eight minutes gone. He kicked the opening goal this quarter. So can he kick the second one and bring the Devils just that bit closer? 10-11 to 8-4. Eight, 8 minutes gone. We don't want to make a liar out of Goldie in our Dewey Pistols. Well, well, if he slots this. Well, if he does slot this, but as I said, next goal won't win because the Devils have to kick a couple. <laughs> so the little approach by Sam Miles sits on its way. Pat Gabber, but I think it's across the face and through for a minor score. Perhaps the next point. Well, I think Goldie, Goldie might be a little bit off the mark. So, eight and a half minutes gone. Chung to bring the ball back in uh, play through the agency of David Liston. Dave Buddy Liston standing in the square looking for options and he's decided he's going to head towards the Coventry wing. And he puts it out there, big kick from him. It's gone beyond the uh, expectations of the Yachunga players and it's been forced down. Clint Guy with a uh, handball out. Jake Meldrum off the side of the boot. He's got no one underneath it. There's Alex Weeks and he's taken a magnificent mark in the dead centre of the ground just about. Yep, strong hands by Alex Weeks, the vice captain. Looks further afield. Got the lead here. Benny Gordon behind the pack. Will he get there to flashback? Up one hand. Good spoil there by uh, Chunga was Liston. 
ball close to the boundary line there and out over the boundary line. So uh, Mount Lofty uh, continue to attack here and uh, just testing the uh, demon defence here. Young Lem placed himself in the right place there. He did, uh, pistols. Showed a bit of courage there. And, uh, he did, yeah. he did. So uh, good no, youngster, for youngster kid. coming through the ranks. And uh, good cliche there. Well, there's a ball on the commentary on wing at side. Stacks on the middle, locked up there, and the umpire will come in. The umpire rule will come in and ball it up. Little we start. haven't seen umpire penal. Uh, he uh, didn't appear after half time with a hamstring uh, strain, so we've actually got two uh, relief umpires out there with the original umpire, Brian Rule. He's, he's pulled a free kick out here. Pipe Stapleton, centre wing. Looking forward here, Pistols. Not a lot to kick to. It's, it's been pretty stale for the minute. we got uh, Big Sasha at underneath it. Yeah, he's in that pack there as it spills up oh, here. Taken by Mildy. He kicked one from a similar position. I tell you what, this one's not as good. I looked a bit wobbly off the you, boots. I so. think he was looking for the cross a bit like uh, in the third quarter there, mate, when he got the one in the goal square. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Mount Lofty move along to eight goals, six trailing at Chunga, ten goal, eleven. Coming up to ten and a half minutes gone, last quarter, round three, Division One action from Art Park. Trust you enjoying it on Hills Radio 88.9 FM, streaming it around the world, and also on YouTube, aka Roy Films Channel. Big kick from Liston out from full back. Down from great front centre by Rock. Reinrich. Jesse Ace. Looks Clint Guy streaming forward. He's on the end of it too. Ah. That's a great kick and a great mark for Clint Guy. Just kept his eyes on the ball running back. Squares it up to the middle back to Jesse Ash. And Jesse Ash should go back and slot this one, Pistols, I think. But uh, just getting back there, great work there by Clint Guy. Running back, but it's never easy trying to take him. And to just get his eyes on the ball and outmaneuver his position and unselfishly gave it back to uh, Jesse Ash. Where's who, the greatest number in the business, Pistols? Who, 32, mate. Who will be lining up. <laughs> Who will be lining up for his second goal this afternoon? Uh, we'll just let that one go through to the kick. We'll be the, the former uh, custodian of number 32 at the Mount Lofty Football Club. Jesse Ace got uh, close oh. to the man on the mark, and uh, as a, uh, That's a stinker. outcome, it is a stinker and through for a minor score. So Chunga just the two points in this quarter. Mount Lofty have added one goal, two, but the Chunga lead 10, 12 to 8, 6. Opening up uh, full goal margin again. So the, the semi-zone tries to take its place, but it gets uh, let out pretty easily to Kieran Deed in the pocket, just holding uh, for Mount Lofty at the moment. Looking at his options, uh, down the line there's a lot of lot of players, and he's just elected to go there. He's put it up really high, big pack forming, duck sauce. Uh, he's picked a free kick out of it somewhere. Oh, uh, Mount Echunga, uh, Brody Fleet on the bottom of the pack being... I don't understand why he's got that, but Brody's put that back into the 50. He puts it up as high as it came out, and Joel Ash has made a fist of it. He had a good chance to take it. He couldn't take it. It spills down Buckets Nielsen. He's ended up with his hand, and now it's a free kick. A couple of uh, customary errors today from uh, Mark Nielsen. This is maybe the week off, because uh, the day before is a standing final here from our lock against uh, the Premier Mount Mark. Uh, sorry, Hungle. But, uh, yeah, so it's uh, Jesse Ash this time. He needs to kick through this one, Pistols. He stabs at him in a fair bit. He sort of runs and he's around. done it again. Yeah, he runs for a guy who gets the ball and up. He certainly hasn't got the, uh, just on observation for me, the goal kicking prowess of his brother. No, not prowess, not not certain. It, he his kicks, he, that, that, when you look at him running around on the angle there, you think he's not going to kick this, but it, he does, that's his natural Was he the one who didn't thing. listen to his father? <laughs> he listen to a McGarry Mendelssohn? I'll let Stoney answer that question, mate. <laughs> anyway, Sammy Miles and that lofty skipper, deep in the back pocket for the Devils. Called to play on, trapped by Ace, gets a handball to Luke Andrews, who immediately set upon by Mirrors Carter. Miles runs past and gets the uh, receiving handball, puts it up forward eye. Wes Wicks, oh, taken by Big uh, Thorny, just brushes off the punt at the Duck Carey, gets it back to Brody Fleet, forced to have a quick high kick, goes back to a good contest for Mark Day by Matthew Harris. Maxi puts it towards the top of the square, leading the race for the ball. Here is Hunter Bennett, cruel cool bounce here, Jesse favors Edwards. the Chungus. Jesse uh, Edwards gonna oh. get it to a teammate. Oh, it's all set up there. He had a teammate. Free in the square. A little bit of push and shove here. Kittle, Neil and Luke Carey. The Chunga had to, had to capitalise on that and they didn't. Great work about Lofty. Three on two and they managed to get it out. And now as it sits, it's bounced out of bounds on the outer flank near the Coventry wing. And we're going to get a throw in as the team set up again. So coming out 14 minutes gone, boys, in the last quarter. Mount Lofty 8-6, trailing 10-12. Uh, so you suggest they need a bit of a hurry on here if they're going to have any impact and uh, try and steal the points in this game. In fact, uh, Chunga have led all the way, obviously. 
Reinbeck went backwards to Charlie Hander. Hander put it inside the forward 50. The ball is punched forward really hard. Clink picks it up. That's Clink Guyatt. And it's now ended up in the hands of Cole Beerstaker, who is looking for a target in Joel Aish, but he's nullified fairly well by Mr. Buckets. Those two go at it. It spills Ooh. out. Brody Fleck jumps in. Yeah, hard approach there at uh, Ace just grabbing the back of his neck there, Joel Ace. That's a close attention from Mark Nielsen, but they're coming in very hard there was uh, Brody Fleet. He might have inflicted the uh, friendly fight up high. was young Max Harris down to Birch, tries to bustle his way through, gets the ball out to Willsby, but uh, in the meantime, paid up too high, taken by Miles with the advantage play. Gets it down in towards the Lakota Mill. He takes a sticky fingered mark in the interchange area on the Maslin interchange wing. So, moves the ball on long. Mildy. Looking down towards Gordon, gets front position, but uh, from behind, a good mark taken by uh, David Buddy, Sonny Liston. Takes the ball right across the ground. He's got a spare man out here. Schumacher. Taken by Schumacher, Michael Schumacher, as he puts on the half the burners, drives it forward, and that's precision play. Great transition from defence by the Chunk of Demons. So that's uh, Ace. Jesse Ace, that is, uh, out Biden. on the outer flank near the Coventry wing again. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sun streaming down. Yeah. He's, he's looking for options. and yeah. He's put it up really high. He's made it a little, very difficult for Clint Guy, and the ball is taken yeah, over the boundary. He's around the band on the mark. He does a uh, no. little arc, doesn't he? It's, uh, that was it. The arc's usual, but the, the kicking's also usually pretty good. He, he hasn't hit it the last couple of times. So, boundary throw in. Forward pocket area for uh, Chunga. Front big Thorn tries to hack it over the back. Ball comes down. Picked up there by Clint Guy. Been busy all day. Gets it out here to a Tommy teammate. Schumacher, Tommy mate. Schumacher. And the turn gets the ball back towards the centre camp. I know it'll be the right place, right time. Oh, man. Spot, comes junior. off there. Taken by the first fleet. Brody drives it. Forward, half forward fake. Area, young Maxi Harris caught under the ball. Oh, racing under oh, his he's pulled a free Edwards. kick here. Meanwhile, the umpire has uh, infringed uh, a called an infringement. Oh. So it will go back to Maxi. Take it to the Max Harris. So, uh, second year player. Pistols stepping up at a level Percy. here, mate. Percy. So, Maxie Harris. I, don't, he, uh, I, don't, I think he's got the range here, Pistols. He did play a lot of A grade last year, but he, this is actually his first senior year of football. He's only 18. So, he sets it to the top of the square, discipline kick, pack flies off hands and through for a more, and a score by umpire Ajax. Axford. So, uh, Chunga. Sammy Miles on. plays on quickly, out the back pipe, Stapleton. Down the wing. That young Telford? Yes, yeah, Mikey Telford. Gives it back to the runner stable. Look at Arches the back. Pipes off, threads it through the needle there. Then ticks it towards the centre half forward area. Yeah. Looking over his head, caught under the ball to big man Kittle. And Thorne gives it the run of Alex Weeks. Gets the after banners on Weeks. He's trying to get on his right foot. Finally does, I tell you what. He's, he's pretty no, happy he's, with it. No, no, he's no, missed he's that not. One, he's easily satisfied, Weeks, because there's only a minor score. <laughs> so, uh, a bit of a costly miss there for the devil. Well, mate, I think that might have been Benny Goldfinch's call, because we haven't had a goal since he no, said... No, we uh, haven't. We've come up to 17-minute mark, and then Goldie called out about three minutes in. <laughs> so, uh, if you're only listening and you're not watching, that's Fraser Thorne's greatest ever chase. He is enormous, and uh, Weeks is. is pretty fleet-footed. So, I think he just put enough pressure on to make him miss. He's that big, uh, they run around his shadow at training as the ball comes out. I think he's a bit, bit <laughs> light-footed light so. light at the fat controller, I reckon he's getting ready to go back I there. Think pistols he should, tonight. I think he should, yes. Anyway, what's going to... He gonna... the fat controller. Well... Is it, his, is it his nightclub? He's contesting this ruck contest anyway. OK, with well, Hayden Kazanowskis. Kazanowskis back hands and over the top of the head, taken here by Little Master, Sammy Miles, set sole. But I tell you what, that's wide. And out in the full. Out on the full, very wide. In the cricket net pocket here at Heathfield Oval. Bit of a stalemate here, mate. I'll tell you what, uh, you're quite right. An uh, entertaining game in the first part of this quarter, but uh, yeah, you think a Chunga coming up to 18 minutes as they lead 10 to 13, the Devils 8 7. You think uh, Chunga perhaps have done enough for their second win of the season. I know footy's a funny game, Stoney, isn't it? It is an interesting game. Uh, as, as you said, Stoney, the at three quarter time was 7 4 to 10 10. It's currently 8 7 to 10 13. So just the 1 3 from Lofty and 3 points from Echunga. And the ball has been kicked back out and is now sitting on the flank, the Mount Lofty flank on the Coventry wing. And we're going to have another ball up. The ball goes up. Competing there are the two Ruckman, but uh, Luke Carey ends up coming down with it. He handballs forward, but he doesn't actually hit a target. The ball rolls along the Ooh. ground. David Carter and Alex Weeks corralling each other over the boundary line, and we're going to have another throw-in. So, boundary throw-in, as Tony said, the Coventry wing of the ground. As the shadows start to uh, take over hold of the ground, it's been a magnificent sunny day. Great conditions here for autumn football here, round three action at uh, Ark Park in Heathfield. And don't forget the big, uh, if you love your hills footy, don't forget Tuesday, the big game, Anzac Day Clash, traditional 
Harndorf Magpies taking on Mount Barker. 340 start, I believe, at Harndorf over a twilight game, so get along there if you want to uh, finish off the week with some more Hills Football League action. Meanwhile, free kick taken here by Sammy Miles, the Mount Lofty captain who's battled his heart out today for his side. Waste no time, gets the ball to the lead of Joshy Mann, who takes the mark. On the edge of the uh, 50 metre arc, decides to go long to the top of the square. Gordon Territory, the flash man, gets himself up high, got his hand to it, spoiled off hands, and out of bounds in the uh, left forward pocket. It's Lofty kicking down towards the cricket net. Just, just one for you to ponder over the next couple of minutes, Pistols. Your best on ground, mate. Who we got here? Yes, as we said, the Trevor. The Johnson Medal for the uh, Anzac Day Award, Anzac Day Round Award, so we we'll have to put our heads together. Uh, a bit better for a Tasmanian, we'll have a couple of extra things to think about. As the ball comes back here, to take by Hunter Bennett. So Hunter Bennett with the ball on the cricket pitch here. Short chip to this man who's also Ooh, Sammy's been, He's been pretty good, Sammy. Sammy Miles. He's, he's my tip at the moment. Uh, I think Luke O'Brien has gone in harder and more across here, taken directly uh, intentionally than the Anzac spirit, but Sam Miles has been magnificent. Taken by Ace, as in Joel. Chips the ball up as it rolls along the boundary line. Taken here by Kieran Dean. He'll be the first to get there. He's got a big paddock. He can grab it and uh, suss what's on offer. He tips it back to Hunter Bennett and turn over the top to the run of the man in the helmet. Dylan Moss drives along the balcony side wing towards Gordon. Gordon does a defensive Carey. slip. A taken mark. by Carey. Up by, yes, I thought it was a mark. But uh, in the meantime, he's been paid a free kick and Gordon has given away a 25 metre penalty in the process. And uh, Gordon just uh, perhaps uh, remonstrated the umpiring standard hasn't improved since the last time he played in the Hills. But anyway, <laughs> you can't argue no. with that flash. And uh, Luke, the duck, Carey will get the benefit of the uh, yardage. He will, he will. It might be 50 these days, I'm not entirely sure, but... Uh, he has to kick over his man, Mark, just another intricacy of the uh, pouring process, so the duck will take the kick. So, uh, Luke Carey, as we said, back full-time with uh, Chunga Football Club after playing and uh, with the Crows the last couple of years, including being skipper of the SNFL. Play on. He's nearly got every option in front of him here. Everyone is in front of him at the moment. The ball goes That's up really high. high. It's a massive pack. No one really takes a clean mark. Nielsen ends up on the second grab. He drops it, picks it up again, and then gets exactly nullified the by our man, Dylan Reinbrecht. He can tackle what you wouldn't believe. We've lost count, but I'm tipping he's probably he'd be heading towards 15. Mm. Probably 16 tackles, pistols. So 10, 13, 8, 7, a chunk of demons. You think uh, as we come at the 21 and a half minute mark, you think they're probably home and home. The handball comes out in the boot. Cool the to throw. So it's gone. And looks like it'll go back to uh, Chunga and uh, Tommy Michael. Tommy, Schumacher. I've been in a good paddock. Handball's off to Reinbeck, who uh, might well be up there in, uh, for the best of field. Uh, well, well, mate, I, I Good reckon spiral you would. there for uh, Mount Lofty by Wicks. Ball comes down over running. It was Lee Boyd Mellon. He's batted pretty well in his return to A grade football since uh, 2014. Scramby passage of play. Oh, Good tackle by Young there. Beer Sticker there. Yeah. Son of uh, Kester. But uh, in the meantime, he's given away a free kick to Alex Weeks, who's also had his moments for the Devils. He goes wide to Coventry win to another man who's had a lot of moments. Bradley Birch, the veteran, 246 game chalked up. Bring on 250. He'd almost gone for another 246, won't he? Pistol Absolutely. Surgeon. Six time club best and Ferris. Drives the ball along the, uh, the wing. One handed there by Brody Fleet. Get the two hands up, says his brother in America. <laughs> As the ball uh, held up there in a pack, a rugby tight pack. So we'll have a uh, ball up Mount Lofty half forward flat, kicking towards the scoreboard in the last quarter. It's the uh, little bit of uh, the twilight darkness starts to head in here at the 23 and uh, 22 and a half minute mark. And you think the demons home and hosed here. It's just uh, not a lot happening here now, now mate. A lot of stoppages, a lot right. of ball ups. Seems like they're both just playing out time. The Sammy Miles gets the opportunity for another possession here. Miles. Shapes towards the lead of Nielsen, who's uh, moved down forward, puts up the hand, spills another grab. He's dropped a few today. Sock it off the ground out here, leading the race for the ball will be Josh Mann. The impossible angle. Can he do the impossible? I've just, uh, Matt Lofty runner has just sent Mark Nielsen forward. So looking to. A bit late, uh, Yeah, I, I'd it's expect. probably a bit later, I think, Jeffrey. It's the, a four quarter game. It is, it is. And we're 23 minutes into the uh, final quarter as uh, the ball was out in the fourth from Mann to tip. So Chung will bring the ball back in. Young Liam Place. Young Liam Place. The place, Matt. Puts it back to a, a packed gab as Nielsen over the top of his head comes to D down the back to Miles. Miles across centre to Hunter Bennett. Bennett's got pipe stay, but it'll be under pressure here. Over his head, gunned by Alex Wicks. Bit of a mung kick towards the pocket. I tell you what, that's a beautiful Gordon. pass. The flash. It's a uh, lace out mung to Benny Gordon. So he's marked it in the uh, scoreboard pocket. Unselfishly chips it back to young Mikey Tilford, who's uh, played a pretty good game and they'll be uh, pretty good if he finishes off we're, the goals. We're, we're going almost 24 minutes 24 in 24 minutes here. about to tick over as Mikey Tilford will take the shot at goal. 
Perhaps one of the last of the game. So, uh, as I said, Mount Gambier raised. Now playing at Sturt and also has played a few junior games at Mount Lofty. And I tell you what, Kicks it's a truly. Kick. Kicks truly for his first goal. Mount Lofty's ninth. They go to 9-7, but Achunga, the big girl's about to hop on the stage and uh, build out a few tunes as they lead 10 goal 13. Well, I think Benny Goldfinch put the mockers on the game. Pistols when he shouted out next goal wins about uh, 18 minutes ago. <laughs> I, mean, he's, I think he's a little bit premature on that one, but we've heard a little bit about Benny with that, so we'll, we'll let that one go. But uh, anyway, back in the guts now. Probably looking almost the last set of clearance here, mate, I reckon. So, uh, what are we looking at here, Stone? 25 point margin, I think it is. Yeah. Back bang in on. Again, 25 point margin to a chunk. No, no, 20. It's 12. 12. <laughs> we get half that. It's it's 12. But uh, there, there it is. is. Yeah, there it is. You, you called it, Michael. Last one of the game, eh? Chunga, they take the chocolates by 12 points. And what was a very entertaining clash in the end. 12 I, I, points. I admit I did miss the first quarter and it took me a moment to get my. Uh, Head around the game, but uh, right, boys, Mount Lofty. Decision here, the uh, recipient of the uh, Trevor Johnson medal. Well, well there, there what were we might do is uh, just cross back to Mr. Chris Carpenter for a couple of after the siren messages and we'll be back soon. So, uh, back to you, Crash, on under point nine FM. Ah, thanks very much for that, Jeff. And indeed, indeed, some sponsorship announcements coming right up. It's the grand opening of Bicycle Fix Woodside this Saturday. Bicycle Fix is your premium bike store with friendly, experienced staff and world-leading brands such as Trek, Bontrager, Norco, Merida, Premium and Colony BMX. This Saturday, their grand opening sale has giveaways, product testing and a competition to win a bike. Chat with cycling legend Patrick Yonker between 10 and 12 midday. Hills Radio sponsor, Bicycle Fix. 33 on Kaparinga Valley Road, Woodside. Don't miss the grand opening this Saturday. Bicycle Fix. Have you had yours today? Did you know that Harcourt's Adelaide Hills have offices in Birdwood, Mount Barker and Stirling? Did you know that Harcourt's Adelaide Hills have been serving the Adelaide Hills for over 18 years? Did you know that every staff member at Harcourt's Adelaide Hills is a local, just like you? And do you know that Harcourt's Adelaide Hills proudly support local sport? Get to know your local real estate people. Harcourt's Adelaide Hills, Birdwood, Mount Barker and Stirling. Harcourt's Adelaide Hills, the real people in real estate. Hills Radio Sponsor. Water, water everywhere and not a drop to spare. And at Woodside Irrigation, they'll ensure you don't waste a drop. Tank. In business for over seven years, Woodside Irrigation have everything you need to get water to the place you want. Tank. Supplying all types of tanks, maxi cube, round and slimline. Water filtration, fittings, pumps, accessories and waste management products. Tank. Woodside Irrigation, 190 on Kapringa Valley Road, Woodside. Proud Hills Radio Sponsor of this year's Hills Football League outside broadcasts. Tell them about my pink tank. Oh, and uh, look for Jody's big pink tank. Hey, this is Johnny Boris from the Torrens Valley Football Club and for the best in hill sport, tune to 88.9 FM. I'm Dan Cregan from Von Deuces. Von Deuces has been helping Hills families with inheritance since 1872. That's over 140 years. Whether it's preparing a new will, cleaning up the mess left by a will kit, or resolving inheritance disputes, at Von Deuces, we provide practical and timely advice. You can call us on 8 393 1234 or visit us in our Mount Barker or Adelaide offices. Hills Radio Sponsor. This Sunday at the Bridgie, open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Breakfast is a divine way to start the day and the Bridgewater Inn has it all. Why not start with a Bloody Mary? Resonate perform from 3 to 6pm. Relax, eat and drink in the sunny outdoor beer garden in summer or in winter, enjoy the open wood fires. Indulge in the extensive menu with vegetarian choices and seniors meals are always big servings. The Bridgewater Inn, Mount Barker Road, Bridgewater. Hills Radio Sponsor. This is the Hills Footy League. Match of the day. 